Hello students, I'm your Sar Lamba. Today let us study chapter number 7 of science, conservation of plants and animals. In this picture, you will see two experts. They are in the middle of the jungle. These experts got on their knees and hands and rooted through the dead leaves on the ground. They watched carefully the flora that is plant and fauna that is animals of the place. Some of the plants are exotic. They have come across some plants that were not commonly found. They belong to the endangered species. Let us find answers about plants and animals of an area in this module. Objectives. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to learn about flora and fauna of an area, about endemic and endangered species, the phenomenon of migration, the solution of the problems of deforestation. Students, you must have observed that some animals and plants typically belong to a particular area. Plants and animals of a particular area is known as flora and fauna of that area. For example, sam tree, tea silver, fern, etc. are the flora and chicken ara, blue bull and leopard, etc. are the animals of a particular reserve. Now let us learn about the endemic species. To know a species, it is a group of population which are capable of interbreeding members of a species having common characteristics. Let me ask you a simple question. Do you find an apple tree growing in South India? No. Apple trees are usually found in the northern parts of India. Thus, Species of plants and animals which are found exclusively in a particular area are called endemic species. They are not found anywhere. Else, a particular type of animals or plants may be endemic to a zone or state or a country. These two plants are endemic flora of the Pansmari Biosphere Reserve. These two animals are the endemic fauna of this area. What factors lead to make them an endemic species? Well, human beings are the main reasons. The destruction of their habitat, increasing human population, and introduction to new species may affect the natural habitat of an endemic species and endanger their existence. You must have heard about dinosaurs. They existed millions of years ago but are extinct. Now, Many of the animals and plants have become extinct, whereas some are on the verge of extinction. Species whose numbers are diminishing to a level that they might face extinction are known as the endangered species. Survival of the animals have become difficult because of the disturbances in their natural habitat. Records of endangered species are found in a book called Red Data Book. Well, Red Data Book is a source book which keeps a record of all the endangered animals and plants. Children, let us learn what does the term migration means. Migration is the phenomenon of movement of the species from its own habitat to some other habitats for a particular time period. Every year for a specific purpose like breeding or avoiding climatic conditions, birds migrate from Siberia to India. We get many things from the forest, gums, resins, jute and pepper are some important forest products. Can you think of an alternative available for pepper? What would happen if we had no woods? Well, to all these questions, recycling of pepper is a simple answer. Pepper can be recycled five to seven times for use. By recycling the pepper, not only the trees, but also energy and water could be saved. Thus, we should save, reuse, and recycle. But recycling the paper is a measure just for controlling the deforestation temporarily. Can you suggest any permanent solution to the problem of deforestation? Yes, it is reforestation or afforestation. Reforestation is restocking of the destroyed forest by planting new trees. Now let us summarize what we have learned. 